Hello students, again I welcome you for the basic course in Mathematics and Statistics conducted by the Department of Mathematics. I hope you enjoyed the previous three lectures. Uh, now we will continue the functions and types of functions in the fourth lecture also. In the previous lecture I discuss about the types of functions that is the constant function, linear function and power function and some functions in economics also I discussed in the last lecture. Uh, we will continue the functions. Now, the next type of function is the quadratic function and quadratic equations. So, quadratic function is defined as a function f is given in the form f of x is ax square plus bx plus c where a is not equal to 0 is called quadratic function. That is the highest power of the variable x is 2 here. And the graph of the quadratic function is a parabola. For example, if f of x is equals to x square minus 4x plus 5, here the coefficient of x square is 1, coefficient of x is minus 4 and constant term is 5 is a quadratic function. Similarly, f of x is equals to 3x square minus 9x plus 13 is also a quadratic function. So, in the both the examples highest power of the variable x is 2. So, we call this function as quadratic function as you are familiar with the uh, terminology that unit, quadratic and so on. So, highest power of the variable x must be 2 then that function is called quadratic function. Now, uh, in the similar way we define the quadratic equation An equation of degree 2 is called quadratic equation. So, here we see the equation of degree 2 that is the general form of the quadratic equation is a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0 where a, b and c are real numbers or constants and a must be a non-zero real number and the value of variable x satisfying the given quadratic equation is called roots of equation. So, from quadratic function now move towards the quadratic equation. The general form is a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0. Again the highest power of the variable x is 2. So, we call this equation as quadratic equation. So, here we can see some examples of quadratic equations. Uh, 3 x square first example is 3 x square plus x plus 5 equals to 0. Here the power of the highest power of the variable x is 2 and the coefficient is 3. 3 x square plus x plus 5 equals to 0 is a quadratic equation. Similarly, minus x square plus 7 x plus 5 equals to 0 is also a quadratic equation. Yeah, x square plus x equals to 0 is also a quadratic equation. So, in all these examples, we can see the highest power of the variable is 2. Therefore, this equation is a quadratic equation and the coefficient of x must be not equals to 0. So, in the first example, a is 3 b is 1 and c is 5. So, highest power of the variable is 2. So, this equation is quadratic equation. Now, we see some methods for solving the quadratic equation as there are three methods for solving the quadratic equation namely first method is the factorization of quadratic equation, second method is the completing of squares and third method is the formula method of finding the roots. So, how to solve the quadratic equation that there are three methods for solving the quadratic equation means there are three methods for finding the roots of quadratic equation. As I defined root means the value of variable x which satisfies the given equation is called root and finding the roots we have three methods factorizing the quadratic equation, method of completing the square and formula method. Now, we see one by one. So, first method is the factorization of quadratic equation. So, we see the example uh, solve the following equation by factorization method. First example is x square plus 5 x plus 6 equals to 0. Here uh, if we compare with the uh, our standard equation a x square plus b x plus c we will get a as 1, b as 5 and c as 6. So, middle term is 5 x which we have to factorize. So, that we have to see the two numbers whose product is 6 and sum or addition is 5. So, here we can see 2 and 3 are the two numbers with their product is 6 and addition is 5. 
So middle term 5x is factorized as 2x plus 3x and from the first two terms we will take x common. So x into x plus 2 and the last two term we will take 3 common. So 3 times x plus 2 and we write this as x plus 2 and x plus 3 equals to 0. So thus we can see that the two obtained factors of the quadratic equations are x plus 2 and x plus 3. So x square plus 5x plus 6 equals to 0. This equation is factorized as x plus 2 and x plus 3. Now equating this to 0, x plus 2 equals to 0, we will get the value of x as minus 2 and equating x plus 3 equals to 0, we will get the value of x as minus 3. So x is equals to minus 2 and x is equals to minus 3 are the two roots of the given quadratic equation x square plus 5x plus 6 equals to 0. As I defined root means the value of the variable x satisfying the given equation. So here if we put x is equals to minus 2 in the given equation then that equation is satisfied. Also x is equals to minus 3 satisfies the given equation. So here the quadratic equation highest power of the variable is 2. So we will get two roots for this equation. As in the school level mathematics you are familiar with the uh, degree and roots. Equation of degree 1 has only one root. Similarly equation of degree 2 has two roots. Equation of degree 3 has three roots and so on. So quadratic equation is the equation of degree 2. So we will get two roots for each quadratic equation. So similarly we try for the second example x square minus 2x minus 24 is equals to 0. So here x square minus 2x minus 24 equals to 0 comparing with the standard equation ax square plus bx plus c a is 1, b is minus 2 and c is minus 24. Now again we have to see the two numbers whose product is minus 24 and sum is minus 2. So if we see the minus 6 and 4 then minus 6 and 4 the product is minus 24 and the sum of minus 6 and 4 is 2. So middle term minus 2x is written as minus 6x plus 4x. So we will take x common from the first two terms x into x minus 6 and 4 common from the next two terms so 4 into x minus 6 so x plus 4 and x minus 6. So the given equation x square minus 2x minus 24 equals to 0 is factorized as x plus 4 and x minus 6. So x plus 4 and x minus 6 are factors of the original uh, equation x square minus 2x minus 24 equals to 0. And equating each factor to 0 x plus 4 equals to 0 we will get x is equals to minus 4 and equating the second factor x minus 6 equals to 0 we will get x is equals to 6. So the given equation x square minus 2x plus minus 24 equals to 0 has two roots. First root is x is equals to minus 4 and second root is x is equals to 6. Now we see the second method for finding the roots of uh, quadratic equation that second method is called completing the square method. So the given uh, example that given quadratic equation x square plus 4x plus 4 equals to 0 we have to write this equation x as completing the square. So we write this equation as x square plus 4x plus 4 as x plus 2 the whole square. So this is called completing square x plus 2 the whole square if we expand by using the formula a plus b the whole square we will get x square plus 4 x plus 4 means x plus 2 the whole square we can write this as x plus 2 and x plus 2. So these are the factors of the equation x square plus 4 x plus 4 equals to 0 and equating each term to the 0 that is x plus 2 equals to 0 we will get x is equals to minus 2 and second term x plus 2 equals to 0 we will get the x is equals to minus 2. So here minus 2 and minus 2 are the roots of x square plus 4x plus 4 equals to 0 that is the quadratic equation. So here in completing square we call this type of root as repeated roots. So x is equals to minus 2 minus 2 as quadratic equation of degree 2 has two roots. So here we will get same root as minus 2 and minus 2. 
Similarly, you can try for this example by using completing square method that x square plus 8x plus 16 equals to 0. So, by this uh, same method that is the completing square, here also we can write this as x plus 4 the whole square and we write x plus 4 x plus 4 equals to 0 as a factors and equating each factor to the 0 we will get x is equals to minus 4 and minus 4. So, this equation as a root x is equals to minus 4 and minus 4 if we put the value in the equation it satisfies the equation. So, th these are the two methods for solving the uh, quadratic equation first method is the factorization method and second method is the completing square method. Thank you so much.